Now on to decision trees. If you are faced with multiple stage decisions and uncertain outcomes at each stage, decision tree is the right choice for you to develop an optimal strategy. Detailed steps on building a decision tree are available in the user guide and therefore let's skip it and review an advanced example of decision tree in various scenarios. Here is our decision tree. To access this example, click on Help, Examples, Decision Tree Examples, and choose Grant Decision Analysis. A small firm owner is considering whether or not to apply for an $85,000 research grant by submitting a proposal. Let's highlight the best decision strategy by selecting the highlight in the Decision Tree drop-down list. The first decision node is whether or not to submit the proposal, and that submitting the proposal will cost $5,000. If a proposal is submitted, then we encounter an event node showing a 50% chance of receiving the grant and a 50% chance of not receiving the grant, leading to a net loss of $5,000. If he is awarded the grant, he would then need to decide whether to use microwave, cellular, or infrared communication technology. He has to spend money in research and development, but he doesn't know exactly what the R&D costs will be. Therefore, each of the three technology options has an event note representing the best case and worst case R&D costs that might be incurred. According to the best strategy, he should submit a proposal because the expected value of his decision is $13,500 and the expected value of not submitting a proposal is zero. This also indicates that if he received the grant, he should pursue the infrared communication technology because the expected value of this decision $32,000 is larger than the expected values for the other technologies. Therefore, the optimal strategy is to submit the proposal and use the infrared technology. Before implementing the optimal decision to submit a grant proposal, as suggested by this analysis, it would be wise to consider how sensitive the recommended decision is to change in values in the decision tree. For example, he assumed a 50-50 chance of receiving the grant. What if only a 30%, 20%, or 10% chance exists of receiving the grant? Should he submit the proposal or not? Here, we are using an Excel data table to analyze how the optimal strategy changes in response to two simultaneous changes in probability estimates. Here is our two-way data table. What we are doing here is essentially sensitivity analysis on the decision tree and on the decision choices we would make. And so we have created a strategy table by using the standard Excel data table. Here in cell W16, we have added a formula, which is essentially saying if our decision to submit a proposal is yes, then we should choose the best choice shown in cell K27 and capture that value. And then you can see the table function is array entered. The strategy table makes it clear that this solution is relatively insensitive to the changes in the probability of receiving the grant. However, if the probability of encountering high infrared R&D cost increases, the preferred strategy quickly switches to the cellular technology alternative. Therefore, the decision maker might want to give closer attention to the risk of encountering high infrared R&D costs before implementing this strategy. Now, instead of simply varying parameters, we can use the power of simulation to consider many more possibilities. Here is another version of this decision tree. The main changes with this tree are that we have added numerous distributions for both the probabilities of certain events happening, as well as the costs associated with certain outcomes. 
In addition, we have built a table using several psi functions, which allow us to better understand the decision with the highest overall expected value, as well as a way to look at results by individual trials. Let's run one simulation. This is the frequency of the choice of one of the four strategies related to cell AA16. There are four decision alternatives and we have numbered them 1 through 4. Here you see that while strategy 2 may overall have the highest expected value, that was only the case across about one third of the trials. Fairly close behind it was strategy 3. This tells us it may be worth looking into the distribution of results across each strategy to see if we are actually more comfortable with another strategy given potential downside in some outcomes.